Hello, my name is uh, Vince Granito. I am from Lorraine County Community College and my presentation that I am going to talk about here today is the use of AI tools um, as a way of being able to develop some of the ancillary materials that we can use for the different types of OER um, sources that we're using for our classes. Um, so just to give you a little bit of information about my background. Um, so I was the state lead for the introduction to psychology OER, uh, both the development of the uh, OER package and then the uh, current revision that we just went through. Um, so one of the things that we did was to pull together different types of open sources that could be used for um, the introduction to psychology class. And uh, we're gonna talk a little bit about uh, some of those different resources. Um, the other thing that I have done in, along the lines of using artificial intelligence is that I have been the co-lead for a faculty learning community um, that has taken place over the course of the last um, year, academic year, uh, with faculty talking a little bit about how we can use AI in the classroom. So my presentation is really going to look at one of the big problems we have is for faculty who use OERs and the different types of sources and things that are out there is that some of these things do not come along with the common ancillaries that you would get if you actually used a textbook. Um, and one of the things that I have been doing is using the, um, uh, using AI as a way of being able to develop um, some of those resources for that. And so a couple of the things that I'm going to cover here is I'm going to talk a little bit about how to create classroom activities, assignment ideas, quiz questions, presentation slides, and then also different types of student resources, but specifically using AI tools as a way of being able to focus on that. And so for me, the different types of AI tools that I'm gonna talk about being used here today is first of all, Microsoft's Copilot, um, Gemini, which is a, the Google's uh, AI tool, Claude. Uh, we could also use ChatGPT, um, but in this case, I'm gonna just keep it to these three and then use this specifically for um, a set of class notes, um, PDFs, either an OER book that we use as part of that or some type of open source article and then YouTube videos. And so being able to create those types of things with uh, uh, with those uh, with those areas. Okay, so the first one I'm going to look at is I'm going to look at using my own set of class notes that I create. So this is for a sports psychology class that I actually teach remotely to a university down in Kentucky. And we do not use a textbook in there. I use several different types of open source uh, material. Um, but one of the things that I create is a set of class notes that I do for each week. And so for, this is one of my weekly class notes that I have here. Um, I create this, I save it as a PDF. Uh, one thing that you will notice about this is the image. So I use a different image each week. The images I actually use as part of my class notes are are all AI developed. So in this case, I used Bing Image Creator as a way of being able to create this particular picture. But what I wanna show you is once I have this set in a, um, in a PDF like this, you'll notice that if I open this up in Edge, there is Ask Copilot here. And when I click on that, this then opens up this particular pane here. And one of the things that I can now do is I can ask this, I can prompt this to generate a summary 
actually, let's do, just do this. I'm just going to say create a summary of this particular PDF. So I said create a document summary. And so one of the things that you'll see is this now is starting to develop a summary of this particular PDF. So these are all my own personal notes. I could do this with any PDF that I want. And so you can see it's created each of the different um, each of the different aspects to it. Now, once I have that summary, one of the things that I can do is I'm now going to prompt it. Let's see. With this summary, create, create. Create some class assignments for create some class assignments. Okay, so now what we're going to do is I just said with this summary that they created, um, create some class assignments for college students. Now you can make it a a little bit more specific. I could have said, well, let's do it a little bit, you know, on, on different types of things. Um, but now you can see it's starting to come up with um, a goal setting exercise that I can do as part of it. I can do a self talk analysis. So it's now giving me some ideas on how to keep a day, keep a daily log, um, practice two different types of relaxation techniques, um, develop an imagery script. So you can see there are a lot of different, and what I can do is I can further prompt this and say, based on these assignments, create a rubric for me as part of this. So normally in a instructor textbook, uh, instructor book that you would get as part of this, one of the things that I could do is I could then see the different types of class assignments or to come up with the different types of things that I incorporate into the class. And in this particular case, by not having an instructor's manual because I'm using open source material, this allows me to be able to get at this, um, uh, create these things with the AI tool. Okay, so the next thing that I can do is I can now utilize, in this case, I've opened up Claude, which is a different um, AI tool. Um, and what I've done is I've attached a PDF article that I found online that I have. Um, and what I did was I prompted it and said, create five multiple choice questions from the material contained in the attached PDF. So let's go ahead. We're gonna go ahead and prompt this. And now what the AI tool is doing is it's going through, it's assessing the PDF tool, and now what we're going to get is we're going to get the different questions. Now, in this particular case, it's writing the questions out, it's writing the choices out, the multiple choice things out um, as part of it. Um, one of the things that I would have to do is I would have to go into this. Um, one thing that I've done in the past is you can actually then reprompt it and say, put this in the format of what um, Canvas would want or what Moodle would want. And it will actually reformat the questions for you, doing it in a way that will then um, put it into that particular format. Okay, so the next thing that we can do is not only can it, not only will AI tools be able to take a look at um, uh, PDFs, but it actually will do it for YouTube videos. So if part of your OER sources that you are using are YouTube videos, you can actually pull up a YouTube video. So I have a YouTube video here. Angela Duckworth talks a little bit about grit, which is a concept in psychology. And what I did was I originally prompted it to generate the video highlights. And you can see over here on the side, I have all the different highlights, including the areas in the video where some of these items are actually contained. So it does a nice job of being able to do that. Now what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna follow up with this prompt that based on the highlights from this video, create some ideas for presentation slides that I would be presenting to, co to a college psychology students. Okay, and we'll see what it comes up with in terms of using the um, using the video.
Okay, so as you can see, it start it gives me slide number one, what types of information I should have on slide number one. Slide number two, here's the information. So again, as, as part of the instructor resources that we normally would get is, yeah, there's still gonna be some, some work involved in terms of being able to create these slides, um, but now at least I have an idea of an outline of some of the slides that I could use for each one. And you can see it finishes up by saying they should be visually engaging, relevant to you know graphics and images, relevant to the information that's actually presented there. Okay, so the last example that I wanna give you is talking a little bit about how you can use some of the OER textbooks and help create um, resources for students to be able to be successful. So what we have on my screen right now is um, a copy of the OpenStax textbook in psychology. This is the book that we use for our introduction to psychology. And what I did was I highlighted one section of it, classical conditioning, which is usually a section that is somewhat difficult for students to be able to understand. And so what I did was I copied and I pasted this over into the prompt area here in uh, Gemini. So this is a different AI tool that I'm using. And what I'm gonna say is um, create a case study that will help students understand this conditioning. Okay, and let's see what it comes up with. So here's the case study, Charlie the cat, the can opener. Okay, so again, if you're looking for resources and you can see it's, it actually does a nice job of being able to uh, define each of the different parts of classical conditioning, talks a little bit about the procedure, the testing. So this is something now that you could create that you could then have as a handout for your students in order to be able to look at the different aspects of the, um, um, of the of the uh, of classical conditioning or really any concept coming directly from the OER textbook that you are using as part. So in summary, really what we're looking at here is the ability of being able to take some of these open sources that are out there and combining it with the technology of artificial intelligence to be able to get some of those ancillary ancillaries that sometimes we don't necessarily get when we are using the different types of open resources. It will help you create quizzes. It'll help you create summaries of PDFs or YouTube videos. It'll help you create um, lecture uh, ideas. It'll help you create assignment ideas, including creating the rubrics, and it'll help you create case studies or other types of student resources to be able to help students. Um, let me know if you have any questions on any of this. I'd love to be able to interact with some of you and hear some of the ideas that all of you have used for the different aspects that you were focusing on.